Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday here and today we're jumping back into some force of will. You guys took the poll on the channel and you guys voted for Curse of the Frozen Casket. So here it is, I've got a ton of packs from a pre-release kit that I busted open and into and I got like half of them here so I feel like that should be good. That's like a box worth or so. But I'm very excited because I haven't opened up a Curse in a while and there's lots of fun things to be found in here, including the very nice textured foil zero of the Magic Saber. And, you know, we're always going to be looking for the uber rare of that card. That's our main goal is some kind of uber rare because it's been a minute since I've pulled an uber rare and I think we're about due. So I'm really like trying to find an uber rare again. I've pulled two so far and it took me a while to get to those. So, you know, maybe this pre-release kit will be uh, pretty lucky for us. Who knows? But let's get into it, see what we can find and enjoy some Curse of the Frozen Casket. This should be a nice, chill, casual little filming video for me here today because this is you know something that we've opened up a little bit on the channel quite a few times but uh well a few times but it's been a minute like i said so ancient automatum and then we've got sorceress of heavenly wind melfi here very nice super rare with a fire magic stone foil very nice as far as other cards in the set that are valued it's mainly just the uber rare the zero cards like the textured foil the normal one and then once you get past that it's just some of the nice like magic stones that are worth like two bucks and then past that they all drop below like a dollar basically so nothing too crazy i think also like who is it uh Yogsathoth uh, of the Thousand Doors or something is also a decent one to get. That was our rare, by the way. I'm just passing it. Magic Stone and Gusting Skies are rare. Of course, you want to get the textured foils. Those are the ones that will have the value in this thing. And behind it, we got Ancient Heartfelt Fire. Uncommon foil. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. Do we get God Packs in this one? I think you can get God Packs, right? All these older sets had all the fun stuff, man. I swear. Just really good stuff. Dreaming Girl Wendy, I've gotten a million of her. Magic Stone of Light Vapors, rare. And then we got an Uncommon Neverland here. Nothing too crazy yet, but you know, we gotta keep going. It's a uh, Creepy Santa or Scary Santa, as my kid likes to call it right there at top. Nice little foil common with zeros familiar. Uncommon, we got that. And we got Invitation of Disaster, rare. And the Magic Stone of Heat Ray, rare. And then we got Zoo Baji, Baji, or whatever. I don't know. Uncommon. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, so we were uh, pretty close in the polls for a lot of things, but Curse took the cake alongside Advent of the Demon King. It was racing with Shining Fates from Pokemon. Uh, so I'm thinking I'll do um, Advent of the Demon King next week because I love that set. It's a really classic set for me here. We got Kriya as our rare. We've got Gloria Silver Knight as our super rare. And we got Magic Stone of Dark Depth. It is the textured foil. I don't think this is like a $2 one. I think this is just like a dollar, dollar fifty one. but it's a nice textured foil. I'll take it. I haven't pulled the Zero card in a minute either. Like it's been a minute since I've pulled the classic Zero. I love that character too. One of my favorite characters is Zero. And we got Oni, we got Pumpkin, we got Halas Ochome, Princess of the Dragon. We got a Rika second daughter of the Makage, 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 Makage. Uh, I'll never, ever, can ever say that one right. It's ridiculous. Super rare though. Nice card. And we got Magic Stone of Scorched Bales textured foil. Let's go. This is like a two bucker right here. So that is nice. Maybe 250 even. Uh, this is like right under the zero card on TCG player. So very good value here. Good one to find. Weird looking in the camera here. That is odd. All right. We got Scorched Bales. I think Gusting wins is another one we gotta look out for and then the uh the darkness magic stone one is the other one i believe ox king uncommon and then we got birds of paradise dancing in the sky lane card we don't care about that here wind magic stone and we got tiger lily as our rare foil very nice next one let's do it come on oh yeah scary santa bard we got whatever that one was fire flying cloud there's our stupid birds of paradise again and a water magic stone with a hey there we go nice nice very nice heavenly wind melfi foil super rare that is decent right there looking sharp too classic all right so next one we got a decent pull from that one so that's pretty good i love the comment of this girl the little moon were rabbit girl pretty sick we got our madness familiar uncommon there's our tiger lily rare 
Behind that, we got Fire Magic Stone, and we got Captain Hook the Pirate as our foil rare. Bang it on, let's keep going, see what we can find here, come on. We got our classic Mermaid of Neverland, great card, love getting that one. Such a nice artwork on that one. Eternal Recurrence is our rare, oops, sorry, passing through it. Darkness Magic Stone, and then we got Azathoth, Hunter of Reality as our super rare. Very nice, can I get a little squared up here on the camera? Love this card, really dope looking. I wish they had like more of the full arts in the set, but they do not, unfortunately. It's just those textured foils. Crank it on, let's go. We've got a god pack, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love getting god packs, man. Oh, I miss just, oh, I love I love these. I, I can't say I miss it because I do get god packs a lot, actually. They're so fun to find. We're starting off with a rare Magic Stone of Light Vapors textured foil. Oh, this is going to be a banger right here. I can already tell this is awesome. Magic Stone of Heat Ray. Textured Foil. That is dope. Magic Stone of Gusting Skies. <laughs> We're getting all of them here. This is crazy. Such a good card. Look at that shine. Oh, man. Another two bucker right there. Let's not spoil anything. Magic Stone of Hearthscore. This is just the Stone God Pack. That is actually crazy. Another Scorch Bales. Another Scorch Bales. Dope, dope. Let's see it. We got to get into some characters here. We got Magic Stone. Have it. They're just giving you everything. This is crazy. Have I pulled a God Pack from Curse of the Frozen Casket? I wonder, man, because this is... It's funny how they're just giving you all the good cards. We are literally getting all the decently valued cards in one freaking pack. That's how nutty this is. So pretty freaking awesome. Great, great stuff. Wow, I don't think I have the textured foil of Deep Wood. So that is pretty stellar. Look at that. Look at that texture on the, the little stone there. That is crazy looking. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what we got here. Magic Stone of Dark Depth. Do we have any more? What, what else do we got in here? Magic Stone of Black Silence. There we go. There's our nice darkness one. Looking sharp. Wow, look at that. Look at that nice beam through the crystal there. That's sweet. What is our last card here? Magic Stone of Blasting Waves is our last one. Holy cow, every single stone possible in the set is just in all one pack. That is nutty. I must not have pulled a god pack from Crystal Frozen Casket, or at least not one like that. I've never seen one like that. That is actually pretty crazy, but awesome. Just all the stones you could ever hope and dream for. If you pulled that pack and were trying to build like a deck or something, that would have just been perfect for you. Rising from the depths rare. We got Magic Stone, a Blasting Waves as is this foil no it's not foil we got one more still there it is we got the aqua moon rabbit right there no big deal on that one Ooh, i feel like uh i feel like luck is with us in this one so maybe we can hold out hope for an uber this is a pre-release kit remember so packs are a little bit different i don't know how stacked i think pre-release kits nowadays are a little bit more stacked and like filtered out um than previous pre-release so these older sets might be a little bit more free and loose as far as what you can pull from it not as structured as new ones so eternal boy peter pan textured foil super rare very sharp not worth anything but a dope looking card in this textured foil keep it coming let's see it come on what if we pull two god packs there that would just be the title right there wouldn't it double god pack crazy stones i don't know dancing in skybirds paradise wind magic stone and Ooh, we got our J Ruler here. We got Mars, Dark Commander of Fire as our first J Ruler pull of the day. Very nice card. It took me forever to get this one. I do have them, uh, but for some reason, I, I feel like I opened up like two boxes and then another pre-release kit and I like, I finally found them in the pre-release kit from the last time and it took me forever, but there's a first side here. Here's the first one, the Fortune Teller of the Fine Star, the Fire Star. Pretty sick looking artwork and looking pretty great on this side too awesome one again not highly valued but that's okay that's okay we got another common here common foil we got some cthulhu stuff going on and we got our treasure box neverland our uncommon it is eternal recurrence i would love to get a full art of this of course it doesn't exist but i think this and a nice full art foil would be pretty sick magic stone of dark depth non-foil and we've got the black treasure box uncommon foil guys since you guys voted for it i want to hear what was your favorite card from this set what hooked you in on this set was it zero was it zero i know everybody loves zero but what was the card what was the deck let me know in the comments below let me see what you guys were all about with this set and see how you guys connected to it like i did eternal recurrence 
we got Darkness Magic Stone, and Invitation of Disaster. Just a rare foil, nothing crazy there. Ooh, one of the first sets I opened up was this one, so it's got a special place, you know what I mean? It's a classic. Let's keep going. Tiger, Ox King, and we got Kriya, Musician of the Wind, as our rare. Magic Stone of the Deep Wood, and Zero's Familiar Uncommon Foil. I feel like this one at some point, am I thinking of a different card? I feel like this one at some point was worth a couple bucks, actually. I don't because maybe it just paired well with Zero itself, but uh, I feel like it had some value. I don't think it does anymore, though. This set is uh, a little too far gone out of the meta, I guess you could say. I think there's only, like I said, a spare few number of cards that people still might play with from this set. But we got Princess Dragon Palace of Ochimi, and then we got the Eternal Peter Pan Boy over here himself with a nice foil Darkness Magic Stone. Sick. Next one up, let's keep going in. I would just want to see that rare on top again. Let's see it though. We got Sacred Captain Hook as our rare, a Fire Magic Stone, and <laughs> yes, that's the hit right there. That is the hit right there. Textured Foil Zero, Master of the Magic Saber. Look at how spicy this card is. Oh man, give me a full art of this card. I wish, I wish. Oh man, just take away some of that white right there. All right, zero. Six Sage of Light is the first side here to this nice J Ruler. And then we got this banger right here. Oh, so happy about this one. This uh, this paid for the whole pre-release box. I think I got this pre-release box for next to nothing. It was like 25 bucks or something. It was a ridiculous steal I got for a whole pre-release kit with, you know, two play mats and 72 cards or whatever and all the extra promos. So... This card right here is exactly what we wanted to see just to make my money back. That is such an awesome card to find. 30 bucks, I think, is what's going for right now. Prices are pretty high at the moment for Force of Will. So I know this was not a $30 card when I first started getting into Force of Will two years ago. I think it was only like a $15 card. So it's doubled in price pretty much uh, just in a couple of years. Force of Will is just banging on with those prices on these older sets. Pretty nutty. Oh, I can't get enough of this card. It's so cool. All right, so we done did it. We got our nice zero. So now it's just cake or icing. Icing with the cake, whatever you want to say, man. It, it's all golden from here, you know? Let's square up a little bit and see what we can find. We got the Weaving Queen Pandora. Love that card. Uh, we got Water Magic Stone, and we got another Malfi. Now, this one is the textured. The one we got before was not the textured. Let me pull it out. I'll show you guys the difference here a little bit. Obviously, uh, one's textured, one's not, but there are some slight, subtle differentials on this thing that you can kind of pick up on camera. A little bit easier on person, but as you can see, this one is the textured. You can see a little bit more gleam and the nice texturing in between the foiling, uh, whereas this one is just that flat hollow. They both look really nice, but obviously one's just a little bit sharper on those hollows and that foiling. Really, really cool though to see both in action here because uh, I don't think I pulled like both in one video before, so pretty nice. Next up, we're just continuing on with the awesome pulls today. Very happy with this. I wasn't sure if I was going to get zero because, like I said, I think I went through a whole pre release kit last time. I did it with my son. Uh, the video is in the playlist. And I went through like the whole thing and I didn't pull a single zero. I was like shocked. So, zero's magic light, classic looking card. Demon of the Crest, Nambolt, and then we got a Foil Light Magic Stone. Barely can tell it's foiled though. Like, it's almost non-existent foiling. I almost don't even think it is. That's like how crazy subtle it is. It is, you can see it right there in the corner, but dang, that's like it. That is weird. That's just non-existent foil. Keep it cruising. Let's go. We got the nice encounter with Cthulhu Foil. That's a good one to get a promo of, a nice promo of that card. We've got Dream Girl Wendy, we got Magic Stone of Black Silence, and we've got Oni Governor Uncommon Foil. Ooh, let's see it, let's see it. We've got, oh, for a second, I forget she's a common. Like, I feel like in any set nowadays, she would be rare or something. Obviously, her subtext would be a little bit different to make her rare, but this kind of a character, they wouldn't pass her off for anything less than a rare, I don't think. So we got Mad Oni, Pandora, 
We got Shekels, and we got Invitation of Disaster Rare. We got Magic Stone of Hearth's Core Rare, and we got the Ox King Foil. I don't have him in a foil, I don't believe. That's sick. Oh, buddy, let's do this. We got the Tiger in a foil right here on top. Cool looking card. I like that one. All right, we got Nation, Sacred, Auto, uh, Ancient Automatum is our rare. Fiery Chariot Rad Boy Classic Super Rare. He looks sick in a textured foil. Uh, but dang, we got another one of these Scorched Bales. This is not the texture. Now this is a good comparison one right here. It's a very stark difference between this and the texture. Check this out. Look at the big difference here between the textured and not. You see that? I don't have to do much to reveal how the texture works on this one. It's just that flat foil and then all this is all that texture right there. Really cool. Okay, we are down to our last stack. Let's get into it. Bang, let's go. Let's cruise a little bit going here. A little bit going. Going a little bit faster here. Save time on this video. Zero's Magic Light. We got Azathoth, Re Hunter of Reality, and Magic Stone Dark Death, non-textured. Next up, let's go. We got the beautiful looking mermaid herself here of Neverland. Very nice foil, looks sharp. I will take it. And we got Tiger Charlie, whatever. We got Shekels, we got Flame Dragon of Valtiel. And we got Light, Magic Stone, and we've got Rise from the Depths Rare Foil. Nice. Bang, let's go, let's see it. Oh, love this card too, dang. Ah, should be rare, should be rare, that card, I don't know. I just like the artwork, it's like, man, such good artwork. Tiger Lily is our rare. We got Fire Magic Stone, and we got Invitation of Disaster Textured Foil this time. Nothing crazy there though. Boom, here it is. We've got the common, no God Pack here yet. Let's see it though, let's see it. Ox King, Heavenly Gus, classic card. I got a lot of this one in the last pre-release I did. Uh, Water Magic Stone and Heavenly Gus Foil, bang. Textured foil nonetheless, look at that, bang. Beautiful looking card, really nice artwork on this one. Boom, let's see it, let's see it. What am I seeing at the back there? I don't know. I have to, you know, how, how can we end this? We end this with an Uber Rare, basically. That's what we can do to just solidify this being the best pre-release kit ever. Uh, Pandora is sitting pretty right here. Darkness Magic Stone, and then a Stupid Bird of Paradise foil. Hate this card, honestly. Boom, next one, let's see it. Let's see it, we got the Common, we got the Oni, we got the Gusty Hill girl herself. Black Treasure and Priest of Darkness, Abdul al Harazd as our rare. There we go. Light Magic Stone with Ancient Automatum Foil. Is it textured? It is a textured foil. You can really see it right here in the cost, the will cost. Crazy. Whoo, there it is. Oh, oh, little dragon. Little dragon on top there. Let's see it. Counter with Cthulhu. We've got Dark, we've got Radiant Soul, we got Captain Hook again, and we got the Wind Magic Stone with the Princess of the Dragon Palace, Otume, as our rare foil, non-textured on this one. Oh, we're getting down to it. Oh, these packs are shifting a little bit in my hand. Okay, let's see it. Were Rabbit, Vegetation, Library, Captain Hook rare again, Wind Magic Stone, and Priest of Darkness, Abdul here in a nice textured foil, looking decently sharp on this one, honestly, nice. Into it, into it we go. All right, Peter Panson on top, but not the rare Peter Pan, just the common, no God Pack here. I'm just hopeful for another God Pack, but it ain't gonna happen, I don't think. Abdul, and we got Light Magic Stone with the Dreaming Girl, Wendy, non-textured, but a foil. A three packs left, everybody. Leave a like on the video if you've been enjoying so far, let's get into them. Bang, first one, starting off with our little vampire dude here. Our Knight of Altir, Alarest, Servant or whatever that was, Gate of the Silver Key. We got Pandora again as our rare. We got Darkest Magic Stone, and we've got a beautiful, beautiful non-textured, oh, I thought this was textured for a second, dang. But still, even in the non-textured version, this Red Riding Hood is lit. Like, look at how nice that is. Really, really nice card. Love this Red Riding Hood card. Really, really cool. This whole card is just very nice. All right, let's see it. Second to last pack. How are we gonna close this out? Two more chances to pull the legendary Uber Rare. We've got some other good Uber Rares we could be pulling too. It's not just Zero, although Zero would be my personal choice. Flame Dragon of Altier, Fire Magic Stone, and ooh, look at that boy right there. It's Fiery Chariot Red Boy, non-textured, but he is another dope looking super rare, just like Red Riding Hood, where you can just flash this boy and he looks sick. The last pack, folks. 
this is it. One more pack for an uber rare. Now, this isn't quite the last pack out of the pre-release kit. This Again, I split this pre-release kit in half. So, if you want to see me open the second half of the pre-release kit and the rest of the packs, leave a comment below, subscribe, and leave a like on the video. Let me know what you guys think. You want to see more? Let me know. Let's get into it, though. See how we can end this thing. We got the little elf of the Gusty Hill here. Mermaid. There we go. Crisis. Wizard, Heartfelt, Flying Cowed. We got Heavenly Gust as our rare. Here it is. We got the Water Magic Stone and Flame Dragon of Altier. All right, you know, it's nothing crazy at all here. That's okay, though. We already got some pretty major hits in this one. Some pulls of the day. Let's get into it. First up, just a couple favorite hits. These are non-textures, but I love to include them. Red Riding Hood, of course. This is a nice textured of Melfi here. So a decent card, but again, no value. Uh, we've got Mars as well. Again, not really a lot of value here, even though it's a J Ruler, but that's okay because we're going to start going through our crazy God pack with all the stones. We got the Heaven's Rift Stone. The textured, of course, all these are textured. Light, Vapors, Textured, Heat Ray. You know it. Deep Wood, looking great. Gusting Skies, beautiful card. Dark Depth, we got another Dark Depth from another pack as a textured. We got Black Silence Magic Stone, looking sick. Hearth's Core, very nice. Blasting Waves, and then we've got Scorched Bales, which is one of the highest rated or valued stones in the set, and we pulled two of them. Crazy, crazy, crazy good, but you know what we pulled, and it's the best card of the set. It is the Textured Foil Zero Master of the Magic Saber. Oh, man, great, great freaking hit here. Leave a like for this card. This looks phenomenal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the full video. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you very much. You guys are legends. And make sure to stay tuned for more Force of Will openings and other stuff. We got Wii Cross, we got Pokemon, and we're doing lots of crazy bums too. So if you like any of that content, come on board, subscribe, help support the channel. But again, thank you guys for checking out the video. And stay tuned for more. We'll see you in the next one.